So today guys we are going to Café Paulette that is in Brooklyn, not so far from my house and I go there when I miss Paris a lot and I want to feel the vibe of my city and also eat an amazing creme brulee. <laughs> so today is that kind of day and also the kind of day of a color mood of, I call this like sort of a wintery look with some touches of pink and spring. So I'm only going to work with uh, red, burgundy and pink, you'll see, but it's super easy to do. So I'm going to apply first concealer under my eyes and around my lips. As you can see, under my eyes, I go pretty low because with one application, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to remove the dark circles um, or the little shadow I have. But at the same time, because it's brighter and it's glowy, the texture of the concealer is going to replumb my cheeks. Then I'm going to have some touches of this cushion stick highlighter from Lauder that I love. Uh, it's beautiful and a fresh color because it has some tones of pink, so it's perfect with this color mood I'm having today. And then I'm going to have a cream blush that I'm going to apply all over my cheeks. So not too much because it's a pretty strong color. So I had to really blend it really well, but then whatever is uh, still on my finger, I'm going to use it on my eyes to bring a, again this sort of glow and a touch of pink. Not too much, but just a little bit to have again this color mood feel. For mascara, I'm not going to go as I usually like go for, like pretty strong. I'm going to keep it quite natural because I don't want this makeup to look too obvious, too strong, too made. More like you don't see that much, you just feel a color mood but you don't notice too much and have you focus on my lips. So the idea of this look is to create an ombre. So I'm going to start by perfecting the shape and then color the inside corner. I'm going to keep the center of the lips bare. This is just the base. So create like a perfect shape and then I color the inside corner. You don't have to make it perfect because I'm going to use a liquid lipstick after and it's going to blend it perfectly together. This uh, jumbo lipstick is matte and it's not going to create like a weird texture or with a matte liquid lipstick. So I'm making sure I'm not using too much uh, texture. And I'm just like an nail polish basically going to paint my lips all over. And you can see already a feeling of uh, degradé by this brighter color in the center and darker in the inside corner. So with this liquid lipstick, I'm gonna make sure that um, I'm having like a perfect sharp uh, shape and also really make sure I'm blending it really well to not have too much texture. But one thing I'm going to do to enhance the ombre is to pat with my finger the center of my lips to really make sure this part is bright and not dark. And then I'm going to kiss a tissue just to have this very thin layer of makeup. As you can see, the intensity is still here. It's actually going to bring back the color of, um, like the brightness of this lipstick uh, that I really love. And I keep in my bag also the jumbo pencil because it's very convenient to touch it up, add mo more darkness, to push your ombre um, because it's the same texture, so it's not going to root anything. So voila, that's it. This look is making me feel very cozy and relaxed and fresh. I love to wear it with this, as you can see, this sweater that is sort of nude, camel, brown tones to refresh the outfit and balance with the makeup. And I wish you a very good week and I'll see you next week.